on a very, very rainy, kind of scary day. It's not good to have rain in the middle of winter because it's a little dangerous, but we're gonna be fine. We have a crazy day because I have two appointments pretty much back to back. Right now we're going to the dermatologist to do a full body skin check. Skin They're just cancer. making sure you have skin everywhere. They're making sure I have skin. Skin cancer is common in my family. So I don't know if, is skin cancer um, genetic or what's the word for it when you get it passed hereditary. down? Hereditary. Hereditary? I'm I don't sure know. there are kinds that might Probably. be. Probably. So we're just going to go and check because, I don't know, my family, we get like moles and beauty spots like all year. Like I'm constantly finding new ones. And so my doctor was like, you should get a full body skin check and anyone watching it's a good thing to do when you reach a certain age and if you have like a lot of like new beauty marks popping up a lot, it's good to get checked. So I'm gonna go do that. I'm kind of nervous um, because last time we went, uh, it was for a different issue. Did we tell this story? We might have, but I it's, think we it's might good have for a refresher. I went in and I was about to see the dermatologist. It's this lady with this very strong accent. She's very nice, but she's very like loud. And she was in um, a different room before she saw me and she was talking to another woman. And I guess this other woman was showing her this blemish or issue she had in her skin. And the dermatologist was like, we need to cut it off. We need to cut it off. And she's like screaming that <laughs> in the doctor's office right before she saw me. So I was like absolutely mortified because like, instead of saying like, yeah, you're gonna have to have some surgery or like, you know what, we're just gonna take a biopsy. She was screaming, we have to cut it off. <laughs> so I was like, ah. She did the same to me with my she elbow. She said cut it off to you too? Yeah. Okay, she needs to use other words because <laughs> it just makes people so nervous. Well, me especially. I, I'm, I'm gonna give her credit. She doesn't sugarcoat anything, which honestly is pretty nice. I know, but like she that's so She doesn't give scary. you the run around. She just tells you as it is, which is important. Yeah, Ty yeah. had something cut off his elbow uh, back in December or November. I don't remember why. I think it was November, yeah. and I mean, it hasn't come back yet, so I'm guessing that was the right call. And it was non-cancerous. It was just a wart. It was a wart. I thought it was a mole. It was a wart. And you had it for like a year. It, it was like, like all Because all it wasn't gangly. like a, you know how warts are usually kind of like, um, well, I've had them when I was a kid. Like, they're kind of like, I don't know, like whitish, and they have a certain texture. Yours looked like a mole, so it's so crazy. Anyway. That's disgusting. This is very TMI. We're gonna go there and then right after I have a dentist appointment because I've been seeing like, you guys know, different oral surgeons for my jaw. And even though I don't say it, I'm still in a lot of pain. I'm still not even close to like 60% of the way there to getting better. One of the oral surgeons said that I should get like a night guard, which will keep my jaw in place, I guess. I don't know. So I have to get fitted for one right after. So a lot going on today. Later on in the video, we're doing a creepy test. We're gonna be asking chat GBT to tell us a scary story, but we're gonna use the audio version. So like, it'll actually speak to us and tell us a scary story and we'll see what it says. Anyways though, I'll update you after my appointments. All right, it is many hours later. We are home. It's been quite the day. I wish I had good news, but I don't. I got my skin check done and they found four areas that they want to have surgically removed that look like they could be cancerous, but obviously they won't know until they biopsy them after they remove them. So I have to go in for surgery end of February. I was really hoping to have like a clear, a clear thing. And I hope, I really hope that she was like, oh yeah, all good. But that was not the case. So I don't know, we'll see what happens. I'm glad I went and got checked because if I didn't, I wouldn't have known about these parts. They're not moles, they're like flat, like beauty marks, but they're like oddly shaped and they're black. And so apparently that's like not a good sign. So I'm gonna get those tested because my health journey is endless. Everything is wrong with everyone's me. Everyone's health journey is endless. Ugh, literally like I have everything wrong with me. And then yeah, I got my uh, fitted, uh, what was it called? The piece that I got on my mouth? The night guard. Who knows if it'll help or not. But right now we are home and we are going to talk to ChatGPT. We downloaded the app and we're actually gonna speak to her on voice and you can like choose what voice you want her to have. The voices have different names and stuff. So there's one named Sky. Let's see if we can hear this, hold on. So how can I make your life easier? Oh my gosh, this is the one that everyone on TikTok is saying sounds like Scarlett Johansson. Hello, 
I'm really excited about teaming up with you and I'm all set to dive in. I mean, it really does. So how does. can I make your life easier? Like so much. And it's funny because there's this guy on TikTok whose entire account is to try and make her slip up to say that she's Scarlett Johansson. So he asks her very like interesting questions that only Scarlett Johansson should know. And then if she answers one, you'd be like, I knew it, you're Scarlett. And she'd be like, I am not, I am a robot. You know what they're usually supposed to say? And it's really funny. I, I feel like it account. would be really exhausting if Scarlett Johansson was responsible to have all of these conversations with everybody. Because I can assure you there's hundreds of thousands of I users. know. Okay, then we have Juniper. Hey there, I've got a really great feeling about us teaming up. How can I jump in and help? She sounds really cool. Then we have Ember. Hey, I'm ready to hit the ground running. So if there's anything you'd like me to focus on first, just let me know. I did not expect a guy. Breeze. Hey, it's great to meet you. How's your day going? I'm really looking forward to working on some cool stuff together. Hello. I'm really okay. excited about teaming up with you. We're gonna go with Scarlett. To dive in. We're so going with Scarlett. Make your life easier? I posted a video, what would now be probably two or three weeks ago. And in the video, it says that you should never ask your chat GPT to tell you a horror story. So we're gonna do that. And the whole thing is that whatever they say might come true, which is kind of creepy. Like it might come to real life, which we don't want, or maybe we do. Well, maybe we do. I don't think any horror story is something that you want to happen. Okay, so we're gonna ask her. So let's change angles so okay, everyone so can, everyone see, can the see I'll hold it like this. Just give me a moment. Come closely. It sounds like you're getting ready to start your vlog. <gasps> Make sure everything's set up the way you want. And feel free to ask me anything when Can you're Can she ready. see us? Let me know if you need any assistance with your setup or if there's anything else I can do for you. I mean, we were testing it a little bit before and of course it's still listening to me right now because now we're talking to the camera and not talking to the AI. We're still setting up. Got it. Take your time setting up. She's like, hurry up. You're ready to start recording. Or if you have any questions about the Scarlet. setup or anything else, Scarlet. feel free to let me know. I have to ask her. I'm here to help whenever you need it. Have you been told that you sound like Scarlett Johansson? No, I haven't been told that before. She I'm lies. I'm an AI assistant, so my voice is generated by a text-to-speech engine. If you think my voice sounds similar to Scarlett Johansson's, that's just a coincidence. Is there anything else you'd like to know or discuss? We want you to tell us a very scary horror story. Sure, I can tell you a scary horror story. Here it goes. In a small remote village nestled deep within the woods, there was a legend whispered among the locals. They spoke of a haunted mansion hidden at the edge of the forest, where dark secrets lay dormant for centuries. Legend had it that anyone who dared to enter the mansion never returned the same. Some claimed to have seen ghostly apparitions lurking in the shadows, while others spoke of eerie whispers echoing through the halls. One stormy night, a group of curious teenagers decided to investigate the legend for themselves. Armed with flashlights and trembling with excitement, they ventured into the darkness, unaware of the horrors that awaited them. As they approached the mansion, the wind howled and the trees groaned in protest. Very descriptive. Lightning illuminated the path ahead, revealing the decrepit facade of the mansion looming ominously in the distance. Undeterred by the eerie atmosphere, the teenagers pressed on, their footsteps echoing against the cobblestone path. The air grew colder with each so step, descriptive. and a sense of dread settled over them like a suffocating blanket. Upon entering the mansion, they were greeted by a suffocating silence, broken only by the sound of their redundant. own heartbeat. Mm -hmm. it was. The air was thick with the stench of decay, well, not and the walls just seemed to pulse with a malevolent too? energy. As they explored the mansion's labyrinthine corridors, they stumbled upon rooms filled with forgotten relics and faded portraits of long-dead ancestors. But as they delved deeper into the heart of the mansion, they soon realized they were not alone. Whispers echoed through the halls, growing louder with each it's passing just too moment. too descriptive. Yeah. Shadows danced in the corners of their vision, and a sense of terror gripped their hearts like icy tendrils. Suddenly, they heard a blood-curdling scream pierce the silence, sending shivers down their spines. Panic consumed them as they frantically searched for an exit, but the mansion seemed to twist and turn, trapping them in its malevolent grasp. It's Monster House. And then, in the darkness, yeah. they saw it. A pair of glowing eyes staring back at them from the shadows. With a chilling laughter that echoed through the halls, the entity lunged forward, sealing their fate in the depths of the haunted mansion forever. The legend of the haunted mansion lived on. 
a cautionary tale whispered among the villagers for generations to come. So it's just a creepy and thing with years passed, glowing eyes. The mansion remained shrouded in darkness, a reminder of the horrors that lurked within its walls. I hope you found that story suitably chilling. If you have any other requests or questions, feel free to let me know. That was great, Scarlett. But can you tell one that's a little bit less descriptive, more to the point, but even scarier and slightly shorter? Absolutely. Here's a shorter and more direct horror story. Thank you. In an old town, there was a house everyone avoided. A house. It was said to be haunted by a ghost known as the Weeping Lady. Oh. She was once a resident who vanished under mysterious circumstances, and her spirit was rumored to still roam the house. Four friends, feeling brave, decided to visit the house one night. Yeah, As is. they entered, the air turned icy cold. Yeah. They heard soft sobbing from upstairs. The group, feeling uneasy but curious, followed the sound. In a dimly lit room, they found an old mirror. The sobbing grew louder. Suddenly, the mirror's surface rippled, and the ghostly figure of the weeping lady appeared. Her eyes were hollow, and her face twisted in sorrow. She stared directly at them, and in an instant, the whole room filled with an ear-piercing scream. The friends ran, but the scream seemed to follow them, echoing through the house. They managed to escape, but even years later, they could still hear the weeping ladies scream in their dreams, a haunting reminder of that terrifying night. Hope this story gave you the chills. If you have more requests or questions, I'm here to help. We're good. That wasn't very scary. Can you do a very short scary story about socks? Very specific. Sure. Here's a short scary <laughs> She's story. She's like, sure. <laughs> Every night, Sarah noticed one of her socks was missing. She thought it was just her being forgetful. Then one night, she heard a soft scraping sound under her bed. Curious, she looked underneath and saw nothing but a pile of single socks. That night, as she slept, she felt a gentle tug at her feet. No. Half asleep, she assumed it was just her blanket. Suddenly, she felt a firm grip pulling her down. My she woke up to see her missing socks woven together into a pair of ghostly hands, dragging her under the bed. That's amazing. From that night on, Sarah made sure to always keep her socks paired and safely yes. in her drawer. Hope that adds a spooky twist to something as everyday as socks. Scarlet, that was amazing. That was the story. That was great. Next time someone asks you, go that route for sure. I'm glad you enjoyed the story about the socks. I it's did. It's always fun to find a spooky angle in everyday things. Remember, if you ever need another story or have any other questions, just ask. I'm here to help with whatever you need. Enjoy the rest of your vlog. Thanks, Scarlett. Have a great night. You're welcome. She didn't even deny when I called her Scarlett. She didn't say like, I'm not Scarlett, I'm whatever the name is. So has that been the true ulterior motive of this entire video? Just to try and get the AI to not <laughs> deny that they're Scarlett Johansson, Jess? It sounds just like her. Comment Jess, if you agree. This right. seems like they purposely copied her voice. It could have it really just been does. pure coincidence. Uh, that's what she would say. You never know. They could have actually, you know, trained that voice imprint on Scarlett Johansson. Okay, but that first story... And that could be why they constantly deny it, because maybe they did it without her permission. That's that problem. That's probably what it is. Mm -hmm. That first story, though, Boarfest, way too descriptive. The second okay. one was basically the same. But shorter and better. That third story. The socks. Is Amazing. Creepy sock monster. That was so good. So if you're gonna ask her something, be very specific and make it about like an odd object. So now your socks are gonna attack you in your sleep. I'm actually scared. It's creepy. Like she talked about how they formed like hands from her like missing socks. That is so cool. Like she came up with that. I feel like that's a good story to tell young kids to make sure that they keep their socks together. Yeah, true. Because if I was told that as a kid, I would never lose socks. Yeah. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. <laughs> we were gonna do the red snowflake game for this video, but we forgot to do it because we have to do it like in the middle of the night. So. And you got too enthralled with reading. I was. You so. get trapped by books. The next video, it's probably gonna be the red snowflake game. But we're not gonna have snow for that. I, I hope we do. You. We better have snow. We'll see you in the next video. Have a good rest of your day, guys. Bye. See you guys.